all right so good day yes you welcome back to my channel vibe with the wakils yes the guy with the cute life style i'm here again to serve you with what is happening or who is trending in the world of entertainment in our country ghana and a bit of it or some of it outside ghana as well if you are new here do well to subscribe to the channel for more videos and for more entertainment and if you are old here if not subscribed yet what are you waiting for yes so please do well and subscribe to the channel as well so hey welcome let's get straight into it who and what is training in the world of entertainment e -N -T -Bit. Daniel Sonstress, Miss V, has registered a displeasure over how some people try to compare her to Kwame Eugene. She said in an interview with Zion Felix on the Uncut show that it is disrespectful for people to compare them. The former Lynx Entertainment artist indicated that she is doing things by herself, so these people should give her credit on that instead of trying to look down on the efforts. Miss V stressed that it is not the best for them to compare to an artist who is signed on a world resource record label. She added that they should compare people who are in the same fields if they want to compare artists. Miss V further stated that it doesn't make sense when they same people compare newbies to established artists. Daniel Sonstress, Miss V again has revealed how a mother has been on a nurse to get married. She told Zion Felix in an interview on the Uncut show that a mom calls her every morning and asks when she will get married. The natural girl composer disclosed this after Zion queried when she will marry. According to the talented singer, a mother would be happy with a question asked by Zion. When she was pushed to promise when he would marry, Miss V said she won't promise. She indicated that she has been in a few relationships. Miss V added that she cannot just wake up and marry because it has happened uh, it has to happen organically from her session a mother would be happy to witness a marriage as she is now 29 years of age Ghanaian actress Yvonne Nelson took to Twitter some days back the African continent to God in prayers asking for forgiveness from God on behalf of the continent the mom of one wrote and I quote whatever we did wrong God please Whatever our ancestors did wrong, please, we are tired. Forgive us, the wickedness must end. Change our hearts. Give us honest leaders who will move this continent forward, please. Amen. So this is what she said on Twitter. A former member of the defunct SM militant, Joint 77, has stated that Sha'awalida Shatawale was not his boss. During an interview with Alifas and Sa'adu on OKFM's OK best entertainment program, which was monitored by myself, Joint 77 did not accept to call Shatawale as his boss. To him, he helped the Shatter movement leader as a friend. When the host tried to make him understand why Shatawale was his boss, Joint was not ready to accept. He claimed they were working as a team, but he won't take the leader of the team as his boss. Shatawale announced his decision to sack Joint and his colleagues some months ago. Ghanaian music sensation Jacqueline Echampo, popularly known as Jackie, has made some revelations about her past when she started out as a musician. Jackie said she was booed off stage at a Republic Hall Week concert at her own university. While still an upcoming artist in 2019, Jackie said she begged organizers of the Republic Hall Week to perform on stage. The Repu Hall Week celebration is one of the top two most attended Hall Week celebrations in Ghana. The 2019 concert was headlined by Stoneboy, Yapuno, Lamem Gang, and other artists. Jackie's dream to get some attention to her craft at the concert before the main act arrived ended in tears after she was booed off stage when the sound system went off. Jackie went off stage broken hearted. She revealed in an interview that she cried her heart out after that very experience. Ghanaian actress Salman Mumain has dragged fellow actress come TV presenter Sandy Kamel Mesa of Angel Group of Companies to court over alleged defamatory comments made against her. 
Zandi on March 13, 2021 made some comments against Sama on a show that Yanuti where she suggested that Sama preferred dating old married men to younger men. A host also backed the allegation by retreating and making further remarks in support of Zandi's comments. This comes after Sama lamented about dating her age mates in his post on social media. Sama in a suit filed on Monday sued the two presenters for defamation as well as their employers for giving them a platform to make statements against her. She is thus seeking 1 million Ghana cities in damages. Among other things, she is praying the court to perpetually restrain Zandi Kamel from making any further defamatory comments about her. Ghanaian musician Justice Amwa, aka Patapa, and wife Leah Miller are expecting their first child together. A video I cited on Instagram suggested. Queen Peasy, as she is affectionately called, sparked speculations about her pregnancy after sharing videos on social media on Wednesday that captures her with a protruding stomach. She was in an ecstatic mood as she jammed to songs buzzing from her phone and indicated that she is being dancing to keep healthy in a current situation. Leah's video caption read, Dancing home alone to loud music is also a therapy. Patapa tied a knot with Leah in a colorful wedding ceremony on Saturday, January 2, 2021, shortly after meeting at a show in Belgium. PM Reigns complained about the treatment plus size people face every day in an interview with BBC Pigeon. She narrates the embarrassment, insults, and mockery on the regular. Precious Mensa, the winner of the DASA, recounted how she was denied a travel experience when an airline refused to have her on board. She said, and I quote, My first major travel wasn't able to happen due to my size. I went there with my family and friends. Traveling for the first time, you would be happy. So I was taking pictures and all. So when I got there and things messed up, I felt very bad. I was supposed to travel economy, but the airline changed my seat. Because of that, I couldn't travel. It's made me feel like either it was stigmatization or body shame. She said the blatant disregard for plus size makes people think that the world has only slim people. She complained about the lack of facilities for plus size people. She said she has to sit on a staircase in the cinemas because there isn't space for her. She also has to carry a chair to functions to, um, to her size. When you go outside, Kim Kardashian, who is training to become a lawyer like a late dad, failed to get a passing grade on the baby bar exam. Kim made it known on the preview of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, though she failed the exam months ago, it remained a secret until she opened up in a preview of a family's reality show. Kim said, If you are doing law school the way I'm doing it, it is four year program instead of the three year program, and after a year, you have to take the baby bar. This was actually harder a year than the official bar. Kim scored 474 on the exam, but the cut-off mark is 560. Kim's mentor in taking the exam, attorney Jessica Jackson, said that it's extremely close on a test that most people are not taking in the middle of the pandemic. ENT bit. All right, so there you have it. That's who and that's what is trending. All right, so there you have it. That's who and what is trending in the world of entertainment today in our country, Ghana. And um, okay, yes, in our country, Ghana, right? So thank you for doing the watching. I really appreciate the fact that you always come here to watch me on Vibe with Able Cute. All right, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. But hey, let me remind you again to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification button so that anytime I drop a video on here you will be um, notified to come and watch real quick all right so hey thank you that's all for today but as always as always yes uh, before i go i would have to give you uh, the new releases we have in on the musical portals as if we have any um to give all right so there's none again today so hey i hope you're already enjoying your playlist that you have so keep enjoying that so and thank you for watching the video i love you so much the name is what it will kill the guy with a cute lifestyle peace out